Good afternoon. It's nice to see some familiar faces and new ones too. My name is Tamerlan. I used to study here actually back in middle school and used to sit where you are right now. But today I have an important message that should hopefully be helpful to future graduates who will be entering uni soon and to adults who may see a different side of a 17 year old's mind. Me time is not yours. I do not mean you by you, but the word you stands for general time eaters that eat up your energy. Me time is when you can do what you really want to do. And that does not mean to scroll through your socials and laugh at memes, but because me time has a deeper meaning. And everyone is different in their preferences and in things that re-energize them and make them take care of themselves. As students like yourself, like some of you, and like myself, we have a lot on our shoulders. And sadly, in the world of today, and in the world of tomorrow, me time, in its true form, is not present for everyone, but could and should be. And as students, we have a lot on our shoulders, such as many exams, chores, projects, and other individual stuff. And as we grow, these responsibilities change. And thus, they require us to change. University is not merely a harder school. Um, it's a different type of beast. And as some would say, it is built different. And I'm not trying to generalize every student's experience, but I'm trying to acknowledge the lifestyle change as I did not at first. Sometime last autumn, I had to write a seven-page essay on the topic of suicide from overwork in Japan. Imagine sitting there at 3 a.m. in the morning, constantly ingesting caffeine, and nearly finishing a heartbreaking essay that is due at 9 a.m. This gave me the biggest headaches. And some people may call me dumb for leaving a seven-page essay till the last day, and they would be right. I was so mentally and physically exhausted from the other course tasks that I had to watch a TV show to distract myself and move on to the next task. Instead of resting, my energy got depleted even more. And this fall into the abyss continued throughout the whole semester until I really had the time to stop and think about how I want to regain my energy. Of course, sleeping is an essential uh, energy booster available to all humans. But as a university student, sometimes you just got to sacrifice a couple of hours of sleep for studying. This is the reality. Unless you're super efficient, grasp, retain and apply information super easily, then good for you. But not everyone is like that, not me. At least from the start. There is room for growth, however. With the right me time, you can refill your energy and tackle the things and smash the things that you set for yourself. Now, me time should not be like that. It should not eat your energy. On the contrary, it should fill you up. I want you guys to take a piece of paper right now or the notes up on your devices and write three things slash activities that fill your energy up. And while you're thinking, I'm going to share some examples of my energy boosters. First of all, I love going to the Korean park nearby my house as it gives me an opportunity to escape this monotonous home setup, clear my head from studies, and navigate the rest of my day, and just breathe. The second thing I like to do is play music, actually, even, I, even if I have the biggest resting poker face while I'm at it. It helps me to clear my thoughts and think things through. Also, funny enough, I enjoy going to the gym. 
I may not look like the rock, but I still enjoy going to the gym. I feel like it gives me that opportunity to not fall behind on the self-discipline that I really value. And now, before we move on, uh, I see that some of you, some of you have finished, or no, have not started yet, but uh, that's fine. We will briefly return to these activities at the end. I want you to ask yourself, have you noticed something similar between the activities that you have thought of that give you energy? I am no magician, and I do not see your thoughts or what you brought, uh, what you wrote, but you will definitely feel good about doing these things during and afterwards. So, let's switch to how to actually approach me time. Since I'm really interested in work, study, life, uh, culture of Japan, I will use five Ikigai principles uh, explained by computer science professor Ken Mogi in his little book of Ikigai. Now, Ikigai is a Japanese concept which broadly translates to purpose of life. And since this book is tackling most of the life aspects of a human being, I will narrow it down and focus on the scope of study life balance. First principle, start from the little. You do not have to be number one in what gives you genuine enjoyment. Remember, this is not a race, but a journey of self-discovery through a particular activity. For instance, let's say you want to cut down on your screen time. It would be way tougher to quit social media right away than to work your, your way down to a specific time limit that you set for yourself. Say you start with three unfruitful hours a day. Then you can cut it down to two, then to one, and then keep it at 30 for the rest of the days. Unless you don't want a, so a social life, of course. Um, so, start from the little things. And this applies to a lot of habit and skill learning. So, those baby steps that you're taking will turn into giant strides throughout the time that you set for yourself. Second principle, free yourself. Whenever you're doing me time, do not be too harsh on yourself. While it is natural to look at your peers and others and their experiences, you should do you. Let's say that doing an activity or starting an activity is like entering a new RPG game where you start off as a level one character and build your way through the game while boosting your skills and different assets according to your preferences. The same goes to me time. The same goes for me time. So free yourself. The third principle, harmony and stability. While the inside you matters, the environment that is surrounding you can also affect your mental and physical states. So you can allocate a specific place for a specific task. If you like reading fiction, for example, you can go to a quiet park nearby, sit on the bench, and self-insert yourself into that story while feeling the whisper of the wind, the smile of the sunshine, or the melancholy of the rain. The same can be applied to your study desk or even workplace which swiftly transitions us to the fourth principle. Enjoy the little things. When you look at your study desk, what do you see? Imagine that you see a reflection of yourself, a study desk or a workplace, whatever it is. How would you want it to look like? What would you want it to look like? Can you change something about it to make studying or working more enjoyable and fun? 
Personally, I have lots of plants around my room to help me breathe, and they give that green aesthetic to my study place. What if you can wear specific type of clothing so that your study mode will turn on? And lastly, be here and now. Being conscious of what you're doing right now is like listening to yourself and having that potential to fully immerse yourself into a particular activity. Say you have a kilometer to-do long list. Break it down, write it down, prioritize, time frame, and do each thing at a time. Now, because everything is written down, you don't have to worry about the upcoming tasks while you're doing the current task. And it's important to start, no matter how tough the day may look like. So let's return to these activities that I think no one did. But uh, have you noticed something? I have important questions for you to answer in your head right now. Firstly, can you do those activities? How often do you do them? And do you do them enough? With those activities, with those questions in mind, I want you to take this list or these thoughts with you at the end of the day and implement more and more of these activities instead of those time eaters because these time eaters just waste your energy. And I'm sure that taking care of your physical and mental energies will make you stronger in facing many challenges along your path. Thank you.